What I want for Company of Heroes 3. Firstly, the mini-map dat is clear enough to see and has good information of units, where they are facing and other stuff. Make the size of the mini-map toggleable, have presets like small like COH1, or 100% bigger, or just have a slider that makes the map big or small in-game. You don't need attack map anymore cause have you watched Ashablawa stream? Every time he switches to tack map from the normal view, I get a whiplash to me eyes and brain. It is no fun to watch streamers who constantly uses tack map. So just make the minimap big enough for the tack map addicts to use. I wonder if Kimbo still thinks Ashablawa is a girl just because Ashablawa sounds like a girl's name and he uses cute girls as an avatar. Doesn't Kimbo know no girls play Ko too? If a girl plays Ko, check their crotch for balls, just to be safe. The camera is fine and some people say the camera is too far away. I say fuck em. The camera is similar to CO1, and they complain the tanks look like toys. Don't they know the graphics is cartoony and has nothing to do with the camera positioning? CO3 was supposed to be a mobile game, that is why it is cartoony and colorful, so that it contrasts perfectly in a small screen like a clever phone. But since the game is one year away, I think it is doable to have presets of camera distance in the menu. Information is very vital, especially the percentages of what a veterancy does. Like increase of 10% receive accuracy, in the game itself when you click on the VETRANCY star in the game itself. Co2 was a bastard for not having statistics and what a VETRANCY does, and some diehard Co2 ERS had to go to some other website to see what VETRANCY does. The days of good videos from Tyrope is numbered if Relic can pull their asses out of their assholes and make the game not like Destiny where the lore of the game can be found outside of the game. Itself. And if they make VETRNC discretons like this makes Grenadier fight better and that is all for VETRNC1, Imagunna pull the pubes of Bonavan's ass. Don't be vague, girls like things to be direct. Take what you want, rape if you have to. Am I talking about co? I need to take my CISO meds. Unit VETRNC and balance should be separate, what I mean is, Grenadier VETRNC can be different in the single player game and multiplayer. Even in multiplayer, Grenadier and unit veterancies can be different from 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, 4v4 and 8v8s. Nobody wants winners complaining about balance patches that is good for 1v1s, but is atrocies for 4v4s balance. Have them separated. Nip the problem in the bud and send them to the showers. For a better community in Co, make direct microphone talk toggleable. Is stupid to have to use outside webs like Discord. Don't you want to talk to your opponent, people don't like to type gghf, when you can utter the same words. Plus Discord is a hot mess to get used to. It would be a better world if the Nazis, commies, tea lovers, spaghetti munchers, le surrenderers, oriental squinters, and the capitalist pigs, sit on the table and negotiated pacefully. Population cap at 100 is sometimes oppressive. Have you played OKW with only 13 units in total in a 1v1 game, whereas Soviets can field 16 different units before they reach 100 population crap? Why can't we have multiplayer 1v1s where there are more options to play with random people in the neato sphere? Something like, I don't know, play 1v1 with 100 population cap, or 200 or 300 population cap. Choices. Choices. Like what Marco Polo says, it's your choice. This is not the Clone Wars. Please have varieties in the skin color and faces of the solders. Nobody likes to fark the same person all the time, same goes for looking at the same models of units when you zoom up into their faces Vonavan style. Please put a cost to sandbags and barbed wires. Like in real life, nothing is for free and nothing is taken for granted. Sandbags should cost munis or manpower, same goes for barbed wires, so that players will have to think before spamming them, same goes for free stuff in COH2 like Brit trenches. All should cost something besides time and vulnerability when building it. And something logical too, when you sweep your opponents' minds, I should get some munitions for the effort, like what Spork says, that is logical like Chalmedaya in a fish market. A suppression bar above the unit's icon would be a welcome change to the ambigo's blinking icon that denotes suppression. When the one bar is full, the unit becomes shocked and take damage. When there is no more suppression fire, 
the bar will gradually decrease and become shorter until it disappears. Her tis from elf porn. Dot snipers should have accuracy of 30% cons at killing a model, if model not killed, at least give 90% health damage to the targeted model. That would make snipers less oppressive to play against. Make the sniper extremely vulnerable to small arms fire, like 80% received accurary when retreating, and 90% when not in cover. That way you can bring back two-man sniper units. Like what Hitler's one test title can attest, you got to snip 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 away. A.E. the Brit Haggis Eater and Sheep Shagger and the Queen Lover, the old one, not the dead one, did so much for the competitive scene on KOTU. Relic should sponsor at least one free hooker hookup per month for him. He did so much for Relic and without him, virgins of the world would never have an outlet to vent their frustrations at and might have become school shooters if they did not play COH2. We do not talk of Captain Price. May he return in CO3.